Yeah, so the vigil, which is also uh, in cinemas, it, from the Blumhouse label that was picked up by Blumhouse after it pl played at um, uh, at festivals, um, and uh, written and directed by uh, Keith Thomas. The story kind of pretty much plays out over the course of one night, during which a troubled man, a young man, is hired um, to watch over to keep vigil um, over a recently deceased member of the Orthodox Jewish community. The, our young anti-hero is plagued with guilt and anxiety about stuff in his own past. He's also had, you know, problems separating from his community. Um, he then discovers that the person who, who, he, is, who he is watching um, actually believed that they were being pursued by some form of, you know, demonic entity. And it now appears that the demonic entity obviously has got its eyes on, on Yaakov. So what he has to do is he has to spend, I think it's five hours, during which all he really has to do is sit and not completely freak out. The film is set largely in this fantastically gloomy, sort of uh, morbid environment in which there are tiny pools of light, but it's generally like kind of darkness visible. The thing that I liked about the film is a lot of it is to do with suggestion. A lot of it is to do with, um, you know, themes are sort of raised and then just left to hang. I think it's less successful when it actually has to do the scares. The, there are a couple of kind of rather perfunctory jump scares, but for that kind of a general mood of, of dread, you know, when the whole thing is, all you have to do is sit in the room with the, you know, with the deceased and just sit vigil. It's not that hard. And yet all these other things start happening. You know, it, how much of it is suggestion? He starts getting phone messages. Who are the phone messages coming from? I, is he actually getting phone messages? He starts to have what appear to be hallucinations, the kind of thing that reminded me a little bit of um, what Wes Craven was doing in Nightmare on Elm Street. So I think it's actually, uh, you know, a, 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 an interesting little movie that makes the most of very small resources and does genuinely have have an air of dread about it.